This is Jonathan Kahn, the author of The Paradigm, the ancient blueprint that holds the mystery of our times. And we've been watching this thing unfold, this ancient paradigm from over two and a half thousand years ago that is telling us what is happening with us right now, what is going to happen, who's it going to happen with, when is it going to happen. We've been watching it all unfold one one person after the, of the next, one leader after the next, one event after the next, all the way to where we are right now. So what does the paradigm say about where we are and the future? Well, there is a chapter in the book called The Harbinger of Things to Come, or Harbingers of Things to Come. And now there's too much to go into except this is the most important thing to go into right now. What is the significance of what happened at the end of the paradigm? This man, Jehu, rises to power and takes the throne. What's the significance of Jehu? Jehu, and it wasn't about Jehu. Jehu was used as a vessel, even despite himself, unlikely man, but used to hold back what was going to happen to the nation. If, if it had continued the course it was about to, to go in, it would have sealed the nation's future, would have sealed its apostasy, its fall. It would have, it would have it would have uh, ended religious freedom. It would have persecuted the people of God. It would have sealed its judgment. And see, that is where we were and where we still are hanging. America. America's been falling away from God rapidly. According to the paradigm, it's accelerating. And it, it is in the same way. And so what is the significance of Donald Trump? It's not about Donald Trump. doesn't matter what you think about him. We know he does wild things, but doesn't, not about that. The significance, it wasn't about, it wasn't about Jehu either. The significance of Donald Trump is simply that he was used at the time to hold back what would have happened to the nation had it gone, gone, continued on the path away from God. That didn't mean that everything Jehu did was right? No, not at all. Did it mean that, that, that uh, God was approving of everything? No, not at all. It doesn't matter all those things. It may be a million issues. You have opinions on but that's not it. It's like God simply used this unlikely man. Maybe it took a man like that, who, was, who, who, who did things that others didn't do, to, to put a break on it, to hold back that. Because if it went the other way, America would have accelerated where it is now. It put a window of time. The answer wasn't Jehu isn't Trump. But it put a window. It's a window of time we have where we're hanging in the balance. A window for what? A window for the people of God to continue to all the more go forth with the Word of God farther and greater and stronger now, more zealously now. And a window for revival. There must be, without revival, America is, is gone. Revival. This is the window we have right now, and the window is not forever. It's a window of time. It depends what we do right now. That's why, you see, there's been a political change, but there has not been a moral change at the time of me doing this. There's not been a spiritual change. There's not been revival across this land in any way, shape or form, in any massive way. And without that, so this is the time we've got where, where God's word is still good, where he said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways, I'll hear from heaven, I'll forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. This is the time. The key is my people. And the key is if. This is the time to pray for revival as never before. Work for revival. Minister for revival. Spread the gospel as never before. But more beyond all that, rather, it is time not just to pray for revival. It's time to live for revival. Because if you start living for revival, the revival begins now. And nothing stops it. And so this is the time. We are in the most critical period right now. Hanging in the balance. And we got to go all out, full blast as never before. Uncompromised. Spreading the word of God and saving those who will be saved. Speaking the truth in love and being a light. And praying for this nation. Now, we're, I'm going to show you something else. But before I, I tell you about that, let me just say, whatever I tell you, whatever I share with you here is just a taste of a taste of a taste what's in the, in the book. It's all there, the full revelation of the paradigm, what's happening, what things that are, are said before they happen, and all that is in the paradigm. The paradigm is available everywhere, online and everywhere. But you can get that there. But now there is a paradigm inside the paradigm. And that paradigm inside the paradigm 
is the paradigm concerning you. And that's what we're going to do on the next one, the next clip. I believe it will be clip 20. And that will concern the paradigm inside the paradigm on the paradigm.